Hi students, 12th standard physics 1 marks, inside 1 marks, lesson 9 semiconductor electronics from sky physics. The history of electronics began with the invention of vacuum diode by J. A. Fleming in 1897, the invention of vacuum triode by Lee D. Forrest. The invention of bipolar junction transistor by Burden, Brayton and Shockley in the year 1948. Introduction of microprocessor in 1969 by Intel. The energy band formed due to the valence orbitals is called valence band. The energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band is called forbidden energy gap. Insulators. So see the gap between the valence band and the conduction band in the insulator is very large. Then the forbidden energy gap is approximately 6 electron volt. Then the resistivity is uh, 10 power 11 to 10 power 19 ohm meter. Then conductors. The gap between the valence band and the conduction band is 0. Then the energy gap between these two bands. 0 electron volt, there is no gap. Resistivity value is concerned 10 power minus 2 to 10 power minus 8 ohm meter. Semiconductors, the gap between the valence and the conduction band is small. The forbidden energy gap between these two bands is less than 3 electron volt. So, two examples are there for semiconductors. One is germanium, so its forbidden energy gap is 0 0.7 electron volt for silicon, 1.1 electron volt. Then intrinsic semiconductors, it is a pure without impurity. So here, holes and electrons are equal, example pure germanium and pure silicon. And the total current produced by the semiconductor is equal to the sum of electron current and current produced by the electric hole IE plus IH and the intrinsic semiconductors which is behaves, uh, behave like an insulator at 0 Kelvin temperature. Extrinsic semiconductor to increase conductivity. So the process is doping the process of adding impurities to the intrinsic semiconductor. So that is called extrinsic semiconductor and the doping ratio is uh, 100 ppm parts per million then n-type semiconductor, 5 valence electrons are there. So this is nothing but donor atoms. Example, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony. And p-type semiconductor, there are uh, 3 valence electrons are there. So this is nothing but acceptor atoms. Example, boron, aluminium, gallium and indium. Then the combination of intrinsic semiconductor and neutral atoms. Suppose if we add neutral atoms to the intrinsic semiconductor means there is n-type and p-type semiconductor are neutral. And the difference in potential across the depletion layer. Depletion layer is nothing but immobile region. In p-n junction diode is called barrier potential. At 25 degrees Celsius barrier potential of silicon 0 0.7 volt and germanium 0 0.3 volt. The external voltage applied to the p-n junction is called bias voltage. Then forward bias, reverse bias. See the forward bias. This is a p-n junction diode. Positive terminal of a battery is connected to p region and negative is connected to n region. That is forward bias. Then negative terminal of a battery to p region and positive to n region means that is reverse bias. And see in forward bias p-n junction diode current is due to majority charge carriers. In the case of reverse bias I mean of a p-n junction diode current is due to only the minority charge carriers. So the maximum current is called reverse saturation current. This is produced by the minority charge carriers. And see the next p-n junction diode does not obey Ohm's law because the graph plotted in p-n junction diode in forward bias, this is not a straight line. And see the next, the current due to the minority charge carriers uh, called leakage current. The process of converting alternating current to direct current is called rectification. And the device which is used to rectify or to convert AC to DC is called rectifier. 
so here actually pn junction diode this is act as a rectifier okay then the ratio of the output dc power to the ac input power is called efficiency efficiency for half a rectifier is 40.6 percentage efficiency for full wave rectifier is 81.2 percentage then heavily doped pn junctions have narrow depletion layers of the order of less than 10 power minus 6 meter so this type of breakdown is called what zener breakdown right and the doping level of the silicon diode can be varied to have a wide range okay breakdown voltages 2 volt to 1000 volt in zener diode the cathode lead approximately the shape of uh, z letter and see the symbols of uh, different types of diodes pn junction diode zener diode led and photo diode the zener diode is operated in the reverse bias having the voltage greater than vz zener voltage and current less than iz iz means zener current maximum current zener diode working in the breakdown region important one zener diode can serve as a voltage regulator when output voltage V0 is equal to Zener voltage Vz, the output voltage is regulated. Okay. Then LED is a PN junction diode which emits visible or invisible light when it is forward biased. LED. What's the use of that? Electrical energy is converted into light energy. This process is also called electroluminescence. During recombination process, energy is released in the form of light or heat in LED, solar cell, light energy directly converted into electricity, solar cell that is nothing but photovoltaic cell. In a solar cell, electron hole, hole is nothing but positive charge, electron hole pairs are generated due to the absorption of light. Then BJ transistor, bijunction transistor. In the year 1951, Mr. William Shockley, he what? Introduced modern BJ transistor. So, in the BJ transistor is concerned, heat loss is less. Then there are three terminals, emitter, to supply majority charge carriers to the collector. Collector, it is physically large. Base, uh, the thickness is very thin, 10 power minus 6 meter. Then the application of suitable DC voltages across the transistor terminals is called biasing. The input impedance is high for a transistor in CE configuration. The output impedance is very low for a transistor in CE configuration. Then forward current gain is very high. Beta value is 50 to 200. For an ideal transistor beta value should be 1000. Then operating point is a point where the transistor can be operated efficiently. The process of increasing the signal strength is called amplification. If the amplitude of the electrical oscillations decreases with the time due to energy loss damped oscillations, the amplitude of the electrical oscillations remains constant with the time is called undamped oscillations. The frequency of oscillations is determined by the values of L and C using the equation F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC. Oscillators to generate clock signals in digital circuits. Digital electronics deals with digital signals. Digital signals contain only discrete values of voltages 0 and 1. Then positive logic. In logic gates we are using positive logic. 1 stands for 5 volt, 0 stands for 0 volt. But in the case of negative logic, 1 stands for 0 volt, 0 stands for 5 volt. Logic gate circuits functions based on digital signals. The output is high when only the inputs are complement to each other. So this is the result of XOR gate. OR and NOT gates are called basic gates. NAND and NOR gates are called universal gates. Integrated circuits are the keystone of modern electronics. All